I do recall her saying that it was not hard to get into law school for Harvard, and it is in fact hard. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and I'm a law school applicant for fall 2023. This video is just going to be a reaction to all of my law school decisions. It's been such a long cycle and if you're in it, thank God it's almost over. I thought it'd be cool to film a little bit of what was going through my mind as I read the different reactions. For the most part, I had a really good cycle. I also got a lot of good scholarships. I met a lot of good people during this process and I'm really excited to just start the legal career. Um, a little bit of context, I am a splitter or a reverse splitter, um, depending on how you look at it and what schools you're applying to. I had a 4.0 GPA, but I also had an LSAT score in the low 160s. I had really good softs, lots of leadership, lots of research. I also have work experience for one year at a financial technology company. So for the most part, I think I had a really good application. I did do all of the optional statements that there were. I had great letters of recommendation. And like I said, I had a really great cycle. Thank you to everyone who helped me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, Lord, because I am just so excited for what's to come. So without further ado, here we go. Let's get into the video. Hi guys, so good morning. Um, I just got a great call. I got a call from the missions office of Washington University St. Louis Law School. And guess what they told me? That I got it. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I love Wash U. It's just definitely becoming one of my favorite law schools. Just like the more that I looked up for Wash U to prepare for my interview, like the more I was like, actually, this is an amazing law school. Um. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's a parade inside my city, yeah! Yay! Pew, 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 pew. You know, I actually just interviewed with them um, at the beginning of the month, and he was like, yeah, you probably won't hear back from us until, like, January. What? Uh, that was last week. Period, pussy. But he was yeah. really nice, so he must have put in a good word for me. Either way, you guys want me to read it to you? Uh, duh, I, on behalf I, I of the would. dean faculty and law school community it's my great pleasure to offer you admission to vanderbilt law school we would be delighted to have you join us as a member of the jd class and then it just has a bunch more text that i'll read hey guys so i just had an email flash across my screen from university of tennessee which i'm pretty sure i already know what it says being that the subject line is a true teller but it says dear Vanessa congratulations on behalf of the entire College of Law it is my pleasure to offer you admission to the University of Tennessee College of Law for the class of 2026 good morning so um I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago and I was on my phone and I saw an email from Notre Dame and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to get up. So don't mind my rough appearance, all right? This is really what I woke up like. I don't know what Beyonce was talking about. So anyways, I'm looking at it now. It says congratulations from Notre Dame Law School. I hate that that's the subject line because I, ah. Dear Vanessa, congratulations and welcome to the Notre Dame Law School class of 2026. The admissions community has reviewed your application and from your accomplishments, motivation, leadership, and promise, we are confident in your potential for success as a Notre Dame Law student and beyond. We will mail the hard copy of your admissions notification in the coming days, but we wanted to give you advance notice of this good news, as well as confirm your mailing address is noted below. A scholarship notification will also be provided in the physical packet as well as via email within the next couple of business days. Welcome to Notre Dame Law. Hey guys, so I'm literally in my car. I was um, inside a restaurant 
and I saw this email come across my screen and I was like, oh my God, I can't check it until I can take a video. So I literally just got in my car and I grabbed my laptop out my work bag and we're gonna see, I got an email from University of Michigan, so. <gasps> they put me on the wait list, what the heck? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. You know, that actually kind of hurts because I'm like, y'all really put me on the wait list and everybody else accepted me. Okay, that's crazy. But at the same time, I needed to be humbled a little. I just really did like Michigan a lot. And I also feel like they only probably could have waitlisted me because of my LSAT and not because of anything else. So it's like, okay, you know, I'm still going to law school. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not sad, but I'm not like ecstatic. I don't know how to describe my emotions. I feel nothing. So, woo! Hey guys, so I got an email from University of Florida with the decision. Um, I'm really tired right now. It's literally 11.30 p.m. I got this email a couple hours ago, but I just wasn't in a place where I can check. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I've already opened it. <laughs> it was an accident, so it's already open. But it says congratulations. Um, I'm pleased to offer you admission to University of Florida with class 2023. And they gave me a scholarship in the same email. Wow. They gave me the Dean Albert Farah Scholarship. Uh, okay. So... Yeah, got into Florida. It's only been mm, 100,000 months, but I got in. Hey guys, don't mind my rough appearance. All those disclaimers. I got an email from UGA, so let's see what it says. Oh boy. I was waitlisted. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Wow. Hmm. You know, okay, it hurts because it's like, baby. Really? But then it's also like, I got into higher schools with full rides in your you're waitlisting me you're lost whatever you know so yeah anyway i don't have any emotions i should have more but i don't it's just been a long time coming and i'm glad they finally said something hey guys so this is editing Vanessa and I just wanted to say that these next two schools um I applied to mid-January so I don't know if that affected the results or not so just keep that in mind all the other schools I applied to early November I saw on reddit that people talk about like when you apply at certain times that so I'm just putting that disclaimer out there in case this video is inspiring you to let you know that that may affect your decision also I got braces guys <laughs> Hey guys, so I got a status update from Harvard, so I'm about to log in and see what it says. Mm, not really hoping for anything. I mean, it's Harvard, so. Or I don't 
don't know. I wouldn't call it rejected because, I mean, that sounds so harsh. And they weren't harsh. They said, Dear Vanessa, thank you for applying to Harvard Law School. After careful consideration of your application, the admissions committee is unable to offer you admission to the class of 2026. This year, we have received thousands of applications from an exceptionally well-qualified group of prospective students and will turn away many outstanding students. We appreciate the opportunity to learn more about you through the application process. We hope you will accept our sincere switches for your future endeavors. Well, that's a record. It's my first denial, which is fine. It's hard, but yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just got a decision from you. I'm logging into the status checker. I was denied, but that's fine. I literally am at admitted students weekend for the school that I'm going to, so I'm kind of numb at this point. Hi guys, editing Vanessa back again. Um, I just wanted to do a cool little thing before I tell you guys which school I'm going to and I wanted to know what school you think I'm going to based on the options, based on the reactions, which school do you think I chose? What I took into consideration most was scholarship, first and foremost, prestige, how the school made me feel like, um, did I feel like a number or did I feel like a real applicant? How did current students, alumni and administration talk about the school? How did they feel about their experience there? And then of course, location. So let me know which school you think I went to. And if you know me personally, you probably already know what school I went to or am going to because I've posted about it. Um, so in lieu of that, you can tell me which school you'd go to if you were in this situation and you had these options before you, which school would you choose? So those are the two options. Comment below. I really, really would love to see what you guys think. Um, yeah. So without further ado, drum roll, please. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all of the above, really. And if you're an Elwood girly like me and you're recovering from the lies, please take all the time you need, okay? Because I do recall her saying that it was not hard to get into law school for Harvard and it is in fact hard to get into Harvard law school. I go here. You, you go where? Harvard law school. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? Like, I'm not salty. I just, I recognize that she did lie to us, okay? So, yeah. Anyways, bye guys. Hey! Charlie, wait here. Are you gonna afford you? Only go for the ginger me. Oh, ginger me. Feel the spirit taking over me. Oh, 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 oh,